everyone, welcome to the channel today. And today we're going to be installing a light up logo emblem that is comparable to the Mercedes emblem that lights up. Um, I purchased this off of Amazon by Jet Style. And when you open the box, it, it comes with an air fresh. I don't know what this smells like. I don't know if I'm going to use it. But you get your Audi logo emblem. Now, before you go through all the trouble in installing this, you want to make sure that the item is not defective. So what you want to do is take it out of the package. Jesus, it's in there pretty good. All right, so when you take it out, you want to take a battery, all right? And you're gonna to want to make sure, positive, positive, negative, negative, and you're gonna to want to make sure that it lights up. And since it lights up, right, watch out, right there, the item is not defective. So now we can carry on with installation. Okay, so you want to do is you want to get a pry tool. Now this is just any uh, scraper. You can get like a little tiny uh, plastic pick as well. What you're not going to want to do is you're not going to want to use a screwdriver. You don't want to use that because you could damage the grill or the emblem itself and you don't want to do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to gently start on the corner and you're going to pry in. What you can do is you can take the metal screwdriver and just put it in as a placeholder here so that it doesn't snap back in. And what you're going to do is you're going to gently just go around every corner until, right, and then just continue over here. Gently put it in. Don't force it. You don't want to crack or damage anything. Try all around, and then comes right out just like that. Okay, now that you got the stock emblem off, before you install the aftermarket one, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna clean the surface of the area with rubbing alcohol, so that way the 3M tape that is supplied on the Jet Style light up logo adheres perfectly to the grill. Now, to make life a little bit easier for the wiring of the emblem to be able to go through the grill, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take off this plastic guard here in the front, Now that you have cleaned the surface, you have also taken off the plastic guard here. What you can now do is you can start feeding the supplied wire through the circle dot inside the Audi emblem. Reach in behind, pull it through, and now what you can do is you can pull it out a little bit and you're going to peel off the supplied 3M tape. scissors I had to do that bring it back through and what you want to do is you're going to want to make sure that this is pulled tight so that the wire is not going to get caught line up your dots make sure the surface is clean and and push in Now, I got it installed, pushed in. Um, what you're probably going to want to do is you want to start from side to side. I had an issue when I got to the other side because um, the Audi emblem isn't that well uh, fit properly. Like any aftermarket piece of shit thing, um, it doesn't really fit per perfectly. Um, so when you get both sides going in, what you're going to find out in the bottom here that it does bow out a little bit. I don't know if you can hear that. There's a lot of play, and the stick doesn't um, adhere that well in the center. On the sides it does, because there's not much pressure, but on the, the middle, like I said, it doesn't stick well, so um, 
like to see how long this actually stays on the car. Uh, so definitely want to keep your stock one just in case this one shits the bed. And uh, so now what we'll do is we'll begin to wire it into the headlight assembly so that it will light up. Now what you're going to do is you want to take the wire that is supplied from the Audi logo and you want to get some wire of your own and you're going to want to make an extension off the positive and negative side of the wire that is supplied to be able to reach your headlight and your battery. I already cut and spliced and taped off um, the supplied wire and the extension that I created. What I did was, I, like I said, I went through the hole inside the Audi emblem. I came out around the back and I did is I came up here and I fed it up alongside the grill. And then I came down into here, there's a plastic piece guard off the side of the radiator. And there's a little groove for it right down in here and I just went right through there. I came up underneath as you can see right here and then right through the headlight and it looks like a, a mount, a, a beam for the, the structure of the car and then I came right out the back. And now what we're going to do is we're going to now start to probe and find out the hot wire to this and we're going to cut and splice into there. Okay, so I looked everywhere and I couldn't find a wiring diagram for this Audi headlight assembly. So what I did was I took my voltmeter and I had the car off to find a hot wire. And what I did was I started probing through every pinhole, this in the positive side in the pinhole, and then the negative side on uh, the ground. And it's gonna start probing um, until you know it starts reading a hot wire. And so what I came to find out is that pinhole number number 10 right pinhole number 10 yep the gray uh, and thin black striped wire is your hot wire and that is what you're going to want to cut and splice into for your positive side from the Audi logo emblem now what you're going to do is you're going to take your plug um, for the headlight you're going to go to that gray and black wire and you're going to use a tool like this now what this tool is it's an inline splice so what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to put it through all the way to the end just like that and you're going to take your positive side to the light up logo and you're going to also feed that into there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your, your, your crimp tool and you want to make sure that you're taking this wire, right, this metal piece here and you're putting it all the way through so it gets good contact to the wires. Now that that's done, make sure everything's good and you're going to take this clip here and you're going to fold it right over it until it clips into place. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your stock headlight thing and you're going to go ahead and you're going to plug it right back into where it was. All set. Now I ran it up here through underneath the weather stripping and in through the cutout for the brake lines. And what also I did was I put it onto the negative terminal post this is not where the battery is but here is where the negative um, clamp would be supplied right there now what you can tell is it's all clean it's nice it looks great you can't even tell any wires um, except for the red of course so now that you're finished with your install what you're going to want to do is you want to put back on your plastic cover Coming to the cabin, you're going to turn the lights on. You're going to come around the front. And you're going to see that the logo is on when the headlights are on and nothing else is off. The LED strip is on, the directional is on, and the headlight bulb is on as long as the along with the Audi emblem. So I waited to get for it to get a little bit darker so you can see it better. Yes, it is out of focus. I'll focus it in for you so that you can see it better. Um, just to recap, um, I contacted the manufacturer of this product to make sure you get the right size. They come in two different sizes, so make sure you definitely check up on that. Um, just like I said earlier though, since it is aftermarket, it's not going to fit as an OEM Audi logo emblem would fit. So don't get disappointed when it doesn't fit exactly as you hoped. Um, 
hopefully this stays on like I said how it's popping out a little bit we're gonna hope and so I'm gonna clarify this so you can see a little bit better it does look very cool thank you for watching please hit that red subscribe button if you have not already have give me a thumbs up comment that would be greatly appreciated take care have a great day